Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Yes, we are talking about <laughs> Dark Magicians. Ladies and gents, I've been updating Blue Eyes for 2024 when it comes to TCG and also Master Duel. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the TCG and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel with the competitive Dark Magician. Your boy's currently climbing up ranked right now, and we're climbing up with Dark Magicians. You know what I'm saying? We're almost at Diamond. So today, we're going to be using Dark Magicians to help us climb up in the ranks. And if I were to play competitive Dark Magician here in Master Duel, this is the exact deck I will play. This is what I would pilot. And I'll explain you guys all the card choices on why I'm playing certain cards for Dark Magician's 2024 post ban list. Without further ado, Dark Magic Attack. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is my full power competitive Dark Magician deck list for 2024. This is as pure as it can get. Yes, I'm playing the Bestials. Bestials are just too strong, bro. I, I, I don't know, bro. In any Dark Magician based deck, not only is it a strong engine to help, you know, deal against any problematic cards in your opponent's graveyard especially against darks and light based decks but the fact that these cards are dragons makes them insane i know that dragoon is not out in master yet but once he is unbanned i cannot wait to play dragoon bro it's gonna be insane but the dark magician has a lot of synergy the bestials have a lot of synergy with dark magician because not only can it search tamias but dark magician with secrets of dark magic helps you go into dark magician the dragon knight which helps protect all your back rows like eternal soul from being disrupted and being destroyed right so bestials have dual purpose in the deck to help banish cards in the graveyard and also at the same time help you make this bad boy right here also lubelion tributing this to the graveyard is insane so if you already have like eternal soul set up with circle lubelion contribute this because it is a dragon monster on the field and it's a dark which lubelion is insane look Tribute one level six or higher dark dragon monster. Summon this card. So you're sending this from the, to the graveyard. And in the graveyard, it becomes dark magician. So you can revive it off eternal soul. Guys, come on now. Come on. And on top of that, you can make Hope Harbinger with Dragon Knight and Lubelion. Yo, when do you ever see in the gates? And like, what, when do you ever see in the gates in dark magicians? Like, you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm cook I, I, I overcooked with this deck list right here. On top of that, with Salvation, bringing back Dark Magician Girl with any bestial helps you get access to Wallow, which is more interruptions, which is absolutely insane. So, yo, like you're making Wallow in this deck. It's like, it's a very unconventional way to play Dark Magicians. But if I were to play, but this is like the best competitive version of Dark Magicians. This is as competitive as it gets, in my personal opinion. I'm a big advocate for Super Polarization. This card is absolutely disgusting. So definitely try this deck out for yourself. This is the competitive Dark Magician deck. I feel like the ratios are just insane. Two Dark Magicians is all you need. And it's going to be using today to climb on the ranks. Right now, I'm in Platinum 2. I'm ass. So, you know, we're going to be trying to get a Masters of this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or Diamond. Dark Magic Attack time. Let's get it. Let's go. Supreme Pro. The best competitive trading card game sleeves ever. Easily gliding. Easy shuffling. Durable. And is what all the pro players use. Get yours now in a variety of different colors. It's the only protection your cards need. Visit TSX1.com now. Link in the description box below. All right, guys, here we go. 2024 Dark Magician. We are climbing up ladder today in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Ranked, and we are going second. So, yo, this going second hand is absolutely insane. Yo, we can break any board going second here. This is probably the most competitive version of Dark Magicians that I got for you guys today. If I were to play this in a tournament, or master duel this is the exact version i would go towards in my personal opinion this hand is just absolutely ridiculous uh such a such a great hand so going second we got board breakers like super poly and triple tactics talents to be able to just control the game fenrir adding fenrir right i swear fenrir is at one. Oh no balance this is tomorrow okay this is kind of annoying here fenrir adding fenrir is actually kind of cracked i'm not i'm not gonna cap you guys okay effect Oh, wow, that's crazy. Okay. See if Fenrir is going to do... Wow. <laughs> wow. Just, let's just steal this. Look at this game. Look at this game.
This is game. You think you could fend rear pass against dark magicians do you know who's in my deck with no monsters left on the field i summoned the ultimate wizards in terms of attack and defense come on now so ladies and gents here we go if you think you can pass on just fend rear against dark magicians let me tell you something you're not gonna win the game all right respectfully all right ladies and gents so let's first and foremost start off very very strong we open up with tamais and dark magician and also Dubelion. this is a very strong opening very very strong opening Okay, so let's let's start off with Circle first. Let's uh, let's see if Circle gets negated. We kind of want to keep our, our Lubelion uh, in our hand, right? Like, see? You see that? It, it was a bait. It was literally a bait, ladies and gents. It was a bait. Literally a bait. Okay. We want to go activate Lubelion here. Amazing. Surge Mag. Magnum Hunt here. Swoggle Secrets here. We'll make these two by using this and Dark Magician. I'm actually a genius. I'm actually a genius. Okay. And then we go Lubelion here. Tribute off the Dark Magician. Summon Lubelion. So we draw Eternal Soul here. We're pretty much lit. Okay. And then we go Lubelion here to basically activate Regain. Okay. And then we go... Oi! Sorry. We go Magnemut. Banish, of course, the Tamias. Okay, summon the Magnamut. And then we trigger off Oi! Magnamut and also regain to put back the Tamias to draw a card. So we draw Soul Servant here, we're lit. Draw Eternal Soul here, we're lit. Okay, bottom. Wow, even better, even insane. And now we use these two to make IP Mascarena here. Absolutely amazing. Really good here. And then we set this. And then we end our turn, end phase. Magnemut triggers the ability. We can add back to Mayas if you want to, but we're not gonna, we're obviously not gonna do that. We're just getting another disruption, which is of course our Jury's Worm here. And not only does this check any, it looks like he's playing heroes because he has a hero field set up here. Who knows? But Bistio is really great. So Polly is really great. And also Regain is also really good as well. Be able to revive back, of course, Magnemut to get follow ups into Tamayas the following turn. It's just absolutely ridiculous, right? So that's what you're trying to do with the setup here. So your opponent is committed to normal summoning, absolutely for sure. And also Dree's Worm will be able to uh Drew's Worm will be able to banish a card, draw one card off regain. So our super polymerization is always gonna be live, uh, which is really amazing. So Galaxy Wizard, look, this auto automatically on summon trigger off, of course, regain's effect. Summon Magnum. Okay. This summons a mag. Okay. And and we can trigger off Magnum's effect. Okay. And we can change our volley, but we're, we're always not gonna do that. Let me see on res. Let me see once we turn tribute this card. Okay. They're, they're not killing us. They're not killing us through Super Falling. No way. So, Galaxy Soldier. Oh, man. That's definitely a misplay. I can't believe I'm not playing Apollosa. That's crazy. Galaxy Wizard, yeah. Photon Jumper. I can't believe I'm not playing Apollosa, bro. Oh man, Apollosa would have shut down this entire thing. Holy smokes. Could have made Apollosa over here. Definitely gonna be adding Apollosa into my extra deck now. Photon Galaxy. Another Galaxy Soldier. This just turns off any interruption that they guys got. I'll just chain IP here. So this fizzles here because it didn't tribute my monster, which is cool. Wow. Magnum effect. Sad that I, I wasn't able to use Drew's Worm's effect. Drew's Worm. Wow. Insanity, bro. Insanity. Alright, I guess we use this. Best thing to stack here is 
you rod. And I guess here we can activate Druze Worm. Uh, we can actually... We don't want to banish any of our guys because... Actually, I want to banish IP so we can recycle IP. I'm in yours. Of course, activate Regain. We're going to put this on the bottom of our deck. And that's why Regain is really good because it puts everything to the bottom. We draw one. We, we, we literally drew the card we stacked without having to commit into our summons. Activate this. Okay, we're going to search Salvation. And we're going to activate Salvation. Yes, Salvation will set Eternal Soul. Absolutely amazing. And then this also checks... Send this. A little minus here. Basil. Oh, he has Jumper. Jumper's one on the gates, right? I need to somehow get rid of Unicorn, bro. Regain is so good because we watch. We, we we get to shuffle Unicorn back, which is insane. I have a crazier play. Yeah, he has Jumper. I knew he has Jumper. Regain triggers, gets back Magnum Mode, which is crazy. Magnum Mode gets a search and face as well, which is insane. Actually, Meg. Uh, best situation here. We can use these two to make the Rura, but I think the best option here is to special summon Lubelion here by tributing the Meg so we get more more fodder. No, I think tributing Drew's Worm is better. Sending the Jumper to the grave. Okay. And Jumper's gonna search a spell card. Watch. And then we use Drew's Worm's effect to send this to the grave. We're, we're like, we're playing Dragon's Dark Magician right now. It looks kind of like unconventional, but you guys will see where this goes. Uh, this is like a lot of layered interruptions, by the way, which you guys will see in a second how crazy these layers of disruptions that this version of Dark Magicians can, is able to put up, especially for the competitive metagame. You guys will see. So he's going to search Galaxy 100, which is fine. Uh, see? Oh, oh, Galaxy Trance, which is never going to resolve because you're going to get Drew's Worm back to your hand. And then instead of fusioning with these guys, you're just literally just going to go into 10 Galaxy. Here. Oh, Galaxy. Okay. And then use these two, these two into IP. Just we can go with this to draw the one card. Ash Blossom is even insane. We can go with these two IP still. And I guess this is still a lot of layers, by the way. You guys will see in a second. Mag. Get Drew's again. Okay. Good. The fact that we get to use Magnum Mode every turn is, is is ridiculous, I think. I think the best thing to do here is activate Eternal Soul. He's trying to get Jumper access to the grave. So, especially when Dark Magician on the grave. Remember, guys, Dark Magician the Dragon Knight is a Dark Magician, okay? So... That's why it's really broken. You guys will see. Go we'll summon this. Summon Dark Magician. Okay. And then we're gonna use this to banish the jumper. Okay. And we can also use Regain to put back the jumper, but we're not gonna do that. We're, we're gonna use the Drew's Worm first. Okay. That's cool. Uh, we can use Regain the draw one, but there's no point in doing that because I wanna wait till we activate something. We can go IP. You know? Like, like we can go IP into like Phoenix to pop, which is crazy too. Galaxy Soldier, okay. This trance in his hand. Okay. Let me ash this. Yeah. He has trance in his hand as one unknown. And we have Super Poly. Cross out. And trance. Oh, wow. I can't, when do you guys ever see Tenai Galaxy and Dark Magicians? Do you guys ever see that? Let me read Photon Trance. I'm gonna get the cross out here. And he's trying to go trance. I know, I know he's trying to go trance. Four. Yes, sir. Whatever he's doing right now is completely useless because he's just trying to go Galaxy Trance, okay? That's, that's what he's trying to do. Like he's just trying to bait me into like Drew's worming, like you know. But I'm not stupid, so. And also, I I get super poly access, which is crazy. 
Yes, sir. Doesn't do anything. We retrans here. Let's target. My Druzorm. Banish the only Photon monster he has in his grave. Banish. Summon Druz. Activate Regain. Put back the Jumper. At the bottom of his deck. Dark Magician Girl. And then. I need the Apollos are so bad. It's a very good game. Okay, he's just having Star Leaf. Oh, Flare Dragon. Yep. I rate him though, because you have the Juice from Disruption, also Super Poly, uh, Super Poly Disruption too. He wasn't beating that. That was an amazing game. Amazing game. You guys saw the power of what Dark Magicians can do, right? It's crazy. Let's get one more duel. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Last final duel. That last duel was absolutely insane. You guys saw how creamy that duel was. But wow, this hand is looking absolutely... It looks so bad. Oh, wow. You're going first with Numeron Network. I, I rate it. I rate it, bro. I guess first turn Appalooza is kind of nice. Well, first one, Evermax is pretty good, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why would he go first, though? I knew it. I knew it. First turn, Mega Clops is nice. I even said it. Okay. All right. 4,000. Oh, wow. What a great hand. This is good. Yo, this is crazy. I can add... Put Dark Magician back. Okay. Single effect. Please chain it, like, in perm or something. Oh, get circle. Circle's nice. Unaffected by monster effects, so we're pretty much huge. We activate this. So we make the Dark Magicians. I think using this, this is better. With this. I think we go soul servant stack. And we go this stack souls. And then the dark magician will help us draw one effect. Draw one. Amazing. And then now we activate souls. Special in souls by setting dark magician girl. So with this. This. I had a better play. I should have won Eternal Soul to try to banish this. This push for game. Definitely greedy on my end for sure. Draw two. Oh, Druze is crazy. This will set. This. Oh, guys, I have a play. This one requires us to sacrifice this off, but we have to do it. Oh, this looks bad. Oh, no, but this can work. Activate Druze Worm. Banish this. Okay. No, this is game. I'm going to game this guy through Mega Clops. Okay. Just send this. It's, it's gonna be unaffected, of course. Okay. Activate Celine. It revives back Dark Magician Girl in defense mode. And then this brings out the ultimate wizards in terms of attack and defense. I'm actually a genius. Holy smokes. This play was orchestrated. I am the conductor. Okay, and then we use a uh, circle to banish this. Genius. I'm so good at Yu Gi Oh! I'm so good at Yu Gi Oh! Please, please. Give me my flowers, please. Access code. Absolute thing of beauty. That was beautifully done. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. 
try to put a tower against me, bro. If you guys were want to play a competitive, a powerful dark magician deck post ban list, this is the deck for you. This deck was absolutely insane. That was beautiful. You guys saw the layers interruption this deck is able to produce. You guys play your cards right, you can overcome anything. Dark magic attack. Yeah!